their proposal meets the comprehensive plan criteria. Of course it does. They handcrafted the criteria. And you adopted verbatim their handcrafted criteria. I can't say, sorry, their plan does not do that. What I say is the way you crafted the policy, it makes a discretionary policy choice. And that's what you're here to determine. And a policy choice is one where you're working in the best interest of Mason County. Is it the best interest of Mason County to rezone, whether you want to call it a rezone or not, you're applying zoning onto it, your comprehensive plan amendment, you're stripping away commercial land. You wrote this policy or you accepted this policy to say may. It doesn't say you shall, it doesn't say just because Green Diamond meets A, B, C, and D, they automatically get their gold star and they get to go forward. This isn't a building permit application. Or as long as you meet all the points, you get it. You know, this is the policy choice. Where does Mason County want to go? And your comprehensive plan helps you see that. You know, it tells you you're a rural county. It tells you you're a forestry county. It tells you you want to preserve that rural nature and that industry at the same time. And by providing this sprawling, and it's not going to be five acre parcels, you know they're going to fringe it on the lake, because that's the economic gain. So when Green Diamond says this land is better suited for residential development, what they really mean is better suited for their economic gain, because that's really what that means. It's best in high years. And that's what they're looking at. Is it better for our economic jeopardy? Because you know Green Diamond's not going to do it if it's not meaning something to them. They're not going to do it just out of the goodness of their own heart. 